Hey everybody, I'm Michael and I'm playing Layton's Mystery Journey today. So I've beaten the game, let's do some of the uh, extra stuff. For example, we have Ideal Meal. So Ideal Meal is this mini game challenge. Uh, you get recipes all over the course of the game. And your goal is to make everybody's favorite food. Alex wants beautiful food. Inspirational, beautiful food. Okay, so I need to pick four things for him to eat. And I've got eight things I can make. Something beautiful. I think this is beautiful, because this is a feast for eyes and mouth. Uh, soup. Something beautiful. Um, that looks fancy. Let's go with that. Okay, what looks beautiful here? That is a beautiful looking duck. And then this. Ooh, ooh. Ah! Beautiful! Okay, let's go. Here's your ideal meal. No, oh, yes. Dishes containing meat do not give pleasure as dishes with that. Okay, nothing with. Nothing with me. Okay. So, uh, here, no. All these things have meat. I, I guess coconut curry. I, I guess. It's got fish, though. And, mm. In any case, what you're supposed to do is, uh, as you can see, feed him food, and if you're wrong, he tells you what's wrong. So, not enjoying... Okay, I want something different from English food. Okay, something that's not British. Okay, so is this... Okay, that wasn't British. What, what was the British thing? Tom Yum is not British, okay... This is an Indian dish, okay. Then this is a British dessert. Okay, so it needs to be beautiful. Uh, let's go with that. That looks pretty fancy. Oh, an interview. You can interview people, by the way, to get hints. All right, I didn't even read that. What was that? Bratsy likes food on plate that looks beautiful. He cares about appearance. Of dish. Okay, we got that. We got that. He never orders spicy or strong flavored food. Okay. So lots of clues we have to put together in order to solve this. I want to see if I can actually solve this legitimately before cheating. No spicy food. Hmm. You know, it'd be helpful if he told us what food is wrong. Okay, so this is spicy. Okay, well then let's switch to this. He decided he didn't like the soup. After three times of liking the soup, he decides he doesn't like it. Okay, too many calories. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's low calories. Medium calories, okay, fine. Let's go with something low calories then. Um, are you... Okay, what's low calorie? That's low calorie, but that's got food. That's the only low calorie dish, though, so let's go with that. And he said he didn't like... Okay, this is also low calorie. That's technically a dessert that we're serving as a dessert, but okay. Maybe he'll like this. There's some dishes I like very much, but most important is presentation. I like to see the skill of the chef. Okay, yeah, this is what happened when I tried to solve this puzzle on my own just before recording the video. I can't figure out which one is wrong, because the problem is, one of them doesn't look fancy enough. 
And really, okay, maybe this is the one that doesn't look fancy enough. Okay, that doesn't look fancy either. Um, this looks fancy. Sure, let's go with that. And it's low calorie. Is this it? Okay, come on, please be it. Yeah, okay, so uh, it needs to look fancy. That's, that's not a good enough clue. That is very subjective, I would say. Very much subjective. So I'm just going to look up the solution. The solution is radish salad, asparagus, uh, whole bean. Okay, where's the asparagus? So he did like the asparagus stuff, but that doesn't look fancy. <sighs> okay, let's serve it. No, seriously, it doesn't look that fancy. It's just yellow soup. Oh! Again, he is rejecting something for not being fancy enough. It is uh, this. It must be this then. Okay, so he actually wanted cool jelly. Because the other thing... Oh, didn't mean to hit the interview button. The other thing just was not fancy enough. So you can see how this puzzle might be difficult and bothersome, and I need to do this for all eight characters. Perfect meal! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sashimi from fish. Entire fish? I... Do you normally not make sashimi from the whole fish? What, you just throw away half of the fish? I guess maybe use the rest of the fish for some other type of type of food. Okay, we got his ideal meal. Okay, what does he want? He wants delicious food. Well, that's not at all specific, Mr. Phineas. <laughs> okay, let's see what his friends have to say. this a clue? Oh, there's something he particularly likes. Yeah, that's not at all helpful, sir. That is, like, very much not helpful. He's never been to South America. Okay, so South American food. Okay. Notice how, like, none of these things are listed. <laughs> as, like, South American or where they're from. That's not very helpful at all, actually. Having received actually no clues to help figure this out, besides for the fact that he wants something that's South American, um... Yeah, that's, that's not very helpful. Okay, let's see what he hates about this. I want something to it. I don't want understated food. Okay, again, again, that's something which is very subjective. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to look up the solution for this and do that for all these, okay? So, coddled eggs, Chinese mitten crab... Then Silpacho and Crema Catalana. Where's Silpacho? Uh, Bolivian. Oh, is that what they were trying to tell us there with that one clue? Okay. I'm guessing that's what they were trying to tell us. But, I mean, I'm guessing that's the dish. The one, the one clue we got was supposed to refer to. Eggs. He did not mention he likes eggs. I think even if he said eggs, I want everything to have eggs in it, I probably still would have failed that challenge. 
Even if they hadn't kept that to us. Okay. Even if they hadn't kept that information from us. Okay, what do you want, Pepper? She wants to eat something while looking over the fireworks. Yeah, that's not very helpful. She doesn't like sweet stuff. Okay. And fish. Fish and low calorie. Okay, those are... Okay, that's like three or so clues. That's actually pretty helpful. Um... More helpful is the fact that she apparently uh, likes foreign food, so let's go with that. Psalm Tam. Tom Yum. White fish and coconut curry. Spicy Indian dish. Okay. And then frozen lemon tart. Sounds good. Okay, so we're like 11 minutes into this video, and not even halfway through this puzzle. It's okay, I'm zooming through now that I'm just looking up the answers rather than trying to solve them on my own. A sumptuous meal, huh? Okay, foie glass, foie, foie... These things are way fancier than I ever cook. I'm sorry. What did we have last time I cooked? Um, let's see, I didn't cook last night. <laughs> night before, ooh, cheesy mahi-mahi steak. Ooh, that sounds good. Cheesy. And then durian ice cream. Yeah, we had salad and stew. That's what we had. It was it was it was not anything super fancy. And we had spaghetti before that. Yeah, just just spaghetti noodles with with some uh, with some sauce. Tomato sauce. Yeah, that was it. Okay, a fun meal for her ghost friends. So, prawn and salmon canapes. Probably mispronouncing that. Pie soup. You know what would make this a lot easier? Which they probably would not do because it'd make it easier is if once we've used a dish, it's get, it gets taken off the menu. That would be, that would make things a lot easier, wouldn't it? Actually, I'd probably like this puzzle a lot better if, if, if it worked like that, because that way I could try really, really hard with one person to make all the others easier. So, you know, even if I get stuck on somebody, like I clearly got stuck on Alex, uh, maybe I could, like, move on here to Liza and then and then solve her stuff, and therefore make make Alex's all the easier. Of course, it'd be a lot easier if, it, if they told you which one of the dishes is the one that's incorrect, but that might make this puzzle a bit too easy. I guess that's that's probably their idea behind that. So what if they just told you, um, you know, cut it in half? One of the first two is wrong, or one of the second two is wrong. I'm just guessing. 
Okay, so I need scotch egg and garlic soup. Where's a scotch egg? Here we go. And then Argentinian beef. And sticky toffee pudding. Your ideal meal. Beautiful. So I'm thinking once we solve the ideal meal challenge, we will get uh, a new house in the bonus section, and that will have three puzzles for us to solve. I imagine people people who are you know want to see me solve the puzzles probably skipped ahead at this point. <laughs> Something my little lemon will go for. Aww. So uh, not all of these uh, dishes are available from the very beginning. As you've seen throughout the game, uh, we we sometimes uh, unlock unlock dishes just by solving puzzles. So it looks like this pecking duck, you get it from solving puzzle 84, and you get apple crumble from solving puzzle 144. But some of these things are just unlocked when you automatically, you know, when, when you first get the mini game, so you can solve some of the puzzles right away. Obviously, I put the puzzles off to the uh, uh, off until the very end. Okay, for a second there, I thought he really hated it. He made it sound like he didn't like it at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's see what you want, Emiliana Perfetti. Yeah, I liked Emiliana. She was a good rival character. I just thought they would do something more with her at the very uh, end of the game with the big finale case. Sure, she shows up, but she doesn't really make a difference. She doesn't really have an effect on it. Okay, so she obviously will make this a very difficult puzzle. Or a simple puzzle, I'm sure it's... <laughs> the four dishes I have not fed the other people. Pumpkin yogurt soup. And then tandoori chicken. And actually, I think this is a dish I served somebody else, right? But other than that, I think these are all new... new ones. Wow. Way to be mean, Emiliana. Okay, so that gave us meal ideal conundrums. I think that's the thing I'm talking about. We're gonna try. We're gonna see this. It better be the thing I'm talking about. I just spent 20 minutes trying to get this to work. Okay, back to the title screen. Leighton's Mystery Journey. Yeah, I'm still not sold on this name. It probably should have been called Catriel Layton in the uh, in the seven in the seven dragons. Yes. Okay. So that does give us three puzzles. Three puzzles. Okay. Let's do this. Three puzzles. Box drop to. Ooh. Ooh. These are all sequel puzzles too. I like it. Okay. Great. So, a lot of work, just all for this moment. 
Okay, cat. Puzzle 171. Fire three cannonballs. Gosh. Okay, and then one. Oh, and I need to destroy all of them. Gosh, okay. Well, this is kind of tricky, isn't it? Because I've got one. But that doesn't, that can't be it. Hmm, what are those rules again? Hey, I can't actually tap to see what the rules are. Well, that's different. Let's use a hint. The second shot destroys the nine. Okay. There are four boxes with the one of them, and there is just one of them that you don't need to use in a sequence. Okay, so just one of these doesn't get used in a sequence. So I guess that means it's this. And then I go, bam. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, gosh. Yeah, no, this this is kind of hard. First, aim at the one on the left. Then destroy the box that will make you... Yeah, I figured that way out. Okay. What is something that will allow me to get the nine? So, four, three... Okay, so I need... Obviously, I need to get a two, and I need to get a one here. So, I need to get a one next to the... Next to a two. How am I going to do that? Because, I mean, if I do this, that won't work. So I'll undo that. Okay, so first I get rid of this one. Oops, didn't mean to move my 3DS. Hmm. Yeah, I'm stuck. I'll just use a super hint. Use your second shot to destroy the three on the right. So we're going to try again. Then I destroy the three on the right. Okay, and then this one. Huh. Okay, so I think I messed up there. I was hitting undo rather than reset the puzzle, and so I was just doing the last, like, two shots. And so that extra one wasn't there. I don't know. I'll make up for it with this one, A Knight's Quest. I'm generally good at these night, night puzzles. I'm pretty good at making those knights dance all around the board, right? These are all 60 Picarats. The evil princess. Okay, the knight is on the way to rescue her. The horse... You can't land in a tree or a poisonous lake. And you want the horse to eat exactly two... two carrots. Before arriving at the castle. Hmm, let's see, I want the knight to end up on that square, so that means I need to end up on this square first, which means I have to go to that square. Hmm, okay, we'll try again, try again, try again from the beginning. Okay, so I wanted the knight to, knight's gonna have to go from this square. Since the knight could land on this square, or the knight could land on that square. If it's landing on... Uh, I need to mark this. If it's either this square or that square. If it's this square on the left here, and this, where ch this is where changing colors might actually come in handy. So if it's on the left there, that means it has to land here. In order to land there, it means it has to go from 
here. Oh. <laughs> hey, what do you know? They're all connected. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, did I do something wrong? No, I didn't. I did do something wrong, because it has to land there in order to reach the, the, the castle. Okay. Okay, so let's get that, that, that one out of the way. That doesn't seem to help much. Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna use a hint. I guess I'm awful at this puzzle. Yeah, I did that already. Go left on your first move and eat the first carrot afterwards. Okay, we'll try this again from the beginning. Okay, so left on my first move and eat the carrot afterwards. Well, there's only one carrot I can have from that spot, so now I'm going to go around like this. And go here, and then there. Get those little gray cells engaged. <laughs> See, I'll get them right sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. All right, way to go, brave knight. And I'm finally Hoppy Bunnies. Oh man, why are these sequels to puzzles I failed? <laughs> why can't they be sequels to puzzles that I just, just was a master of? Wow, this is tougher than the other ones. Oh gosh. Okay. The rabbits have to move between two other rabbits. Um, okay, what was this again? They have to go between two other rabbits whenever they move. So in order for that rabbit to do anything... Yeah, these rocks are in the way, making it very difficult. So I can't move that rabbit... Why can't I move this rabbit down now? What? Hmm... Why can't I move the rabbit to these spaces? Okay, because the rabbit literally has to go through multiple ra- Wow, impossible. Seven moves. There's more than one way to do it. Move the left-hand rabbit four spaces to the right and up most mat rabbit five ways down. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two. No, no, no. One, two, three, four, five. So let's just say, that's it. That's it. Okay, so this is going to be my starting point, huh? Uh, can I get the other rabbits there in five moves? That rabbit's a pretty easy fix. I mean, that one is, right? But, um... That one's not. That one's not either. Hmm. Yeah. This rabbit can't be moved at all. That that rabbit. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea. You're going to have to help me out here, Hint. Move the right-hand rabbit diagonally three spaces towards the bottom left. One, two, three. Okay. And the hint also said, then move the other rabbit at the bottom to the flower patch on the left-hand side of the field. There, okay, one rabbit in place. This rabbit is a quick slip. And that rabbit goes up, but then where does that rabbit go?
Yeah, like that. There we go. That's it. Be lucky if I crack this one. The pieces just fell into place somehow. Well, I didn't use the super hint on that one. <laughs> Aww. I didn't use the super hint on that one. Okay, so maybe I failed. Didn't do so super well with these puzzles. I basically super hinted my way to success. But don't worry, I'm sure... I'm sure the next set of puzzles will maybe be easier? Maybe. And the game auto-saves, because there's no save your game thing. By the way, top secret. This is what pick rats are good for. Listen to some lines from the charismatic cast. Ooh. Cat, you're starting to sound like a hippie. Oh, yeah. 60%? Does that qualify as certain? <laughs> I don't know how they chose which lines or are, are, are which character files, huh? Ooh, 3D or 2D? Ooh, my. A anyway, uh, I'm gonna end the video here. Next video, we're gonna do some more.